Howdy folks, I'm Aaron, welcome to Lowe's Joinery. Today's video is a quick one and I'm going to be sticking this where the sun don't shine. My workshop, of course. Okay then folks, so this is just a really, really quick video. Um, my dad showed up the other day for a cup of tea, as he does. And says, oh son, I've got you a little something from the car boot, or the bar coot as he calls it. Bar coot. Um, so yeah, he got me a number eight um, woodworking voice clamp, whatever you want to call them. Um, although I do a lot of my work outside, because there's more room, um, I'm going to stick this inside. Um, this is an old, very old uh, workbench I made. I think I made it within ten minutes. Like it's just, it's just legs with some decking brace. So I'm gonna, this gets clamped underneath here. There's some little fixing holes there, but these get. This is gonna get clamped flush up there. So if that was that, it'd be like that, and then I could use it. So I'm gonna have to just notch a bit of this front apron out. Um, it shan't affect the structure in any way. So I'm just going to have to notch that out, I'm going to use the multi-tool for that, um, then we can get this screwed on and yeah, saves me clamping stuff down with a hand clamp, I can use the voice now so. Okay, so just to start off this project, I've literally got the clamp voice, um, I'm just going to offer it up to where I want it roughly, I think that's about a good enough section because I can stand there and get a good a uh, bit of weight behind the clamp um, and just give a bit of a bit of movement doesn't have to be doesn't have to be anything too fancy um, Just literally fit for the purpose because I'm gonna um, I'm gonna change this bench anyway eventually. So yeah, got my multi tool with a wood bit in. I'm gonna cut this out, offer it up, see how we go, and then hopefully. Okay, so what I've done is, um, I didn't film it because I had to pop out, but I've just drilled a um, 6 to 8 mil hole for a um, carriage bolt to go through, um, and it's just bolted from underneath. Um, I think I'm going to put another one in this side, and then I'm going to screw, because there's four holes to each side. So I'm going to drill another hole through there. And then I'll put another bolt through, tighten them up, 
Uh, hopefully that will get rid of that plate and then just put some put them back in there, just put some screws in. Just put some of them chunky little screws in just to hold it so it doesn't come through and obviously have a bit of a nasty knock on your hands. So yeah, I'm gonna do that now, crack on with it. Okay then, so I've got the voice in now, carriage bolts and two um, two screws on the back end as well where I wouldn't get the bolts in anyway. Um, I think what I'm going to do as well, just replace these jaws in here, I've got some inch by three is that, doesn't matter. Exactly, inch by three, I'm gonna replace them two jaws with it and then we're done. Won't throw them away, we can use them for something along the lines. Okay then folks, so quick video, um, nothing special, hope you liked it, it was literally something that was there, I thought I'd video it anyway, stick another vid on the old YouTube, you know what I mean? Um, as always, thank you very much for watching, um, like I say, if you do like it, give it a thumbs up, uh, share it amongst your friends, I'd appreciate that. Um, if you're just flicking through and you haven't already, please consider subscribing, I've got a load of content um toy boxes candle holders the job lot so have a look um spraying tips have a look you might find it useful if you do subscribe thank you very very much um and yeah just once again folks thank you for watching have a good day night evening weekend whenever you're watching have a good one and i will catch you on the next vid see you later folks